all enterprises. Yes, it's the retail side. Yes, it's the 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 the, the individuals who are working at staffing organizations or their um, uh, call center individuals. Again, retail, all the way through to your software engineers, your uh, vice presidents, your project managers, everybody is being affected by COVID-19, unfortunately. There is no workforce or silo of the workforce that's not being affected. A client market is one that there are more candidates for the client, but the, the client is actually in the catbird seat, meaning the enterprises have 200 applicants that apply for open positions. Right, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, we had a client-driven market where there were uh, organizations that were looking for talent and they had 200, 250 applicants. Just before COVID-19, it was a candidate-driven market where you had thousands of enterprises looking for a very small pool of candidates. Now, because of COVID-19, we're back to that previous situation I mentioned where you have so many candidates on the marketplace or so many applicants on the marketplace, the client can be choosy. They can take their time. And unfortunately, what we've created is, is a, 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 uh, a delay in the, the process of vetting, getting a candidate on board and having them be a contributing member of the organization. So, so that whole cycle has run its, it run its course. Unfortunately, candidates feel like they're not being addressed uh, and they aren't. So when I say the, the system is broken, it really is. There needs to be some way that we can get through the, the qualified candidates more quickly, get those people processed and on board and, and certainly contributing to the organization's online. The first thing people need to do is they need to make sure that their resume is up to snuff, right? If you're staying within your silo, great need to build on some of the accomplishments, some of the things that you've been awarded, maybe special recognition, some of the things that you've done as an overachiever or an achiever, high achiever for your organization. That's number one. In addition to number one, you have to have a generic resume. So your skill sets that you've developed, whether those are project management, which is, is time management, or some other aspect that bridges well through silos, needs to be more of a generic resume. But there should be two resumes that you have for your job search. Second, you need to make sure that your social media presence, specifically your LinkedIn profile, is a great showcase or a snapshot of not only your resume, but what you've done as some quantifiable accomplishments throughout your career. Okay? You need to have a current headshot. You need to have your tenure on your LinkedIn profile to be exact to what your resume reads. Don't leave anything out on your LinkedIn profile that you're putting on your resume or vice versa. Next, you really need to focus on having yourself uh, have a mindset of applying to every position out there. One of the things that, that job seekers fall down on is they apply for two positions and they call it a day. In this marketplace, as I mentioned before, there are so many candidates vying for the same roles. You have to think kind of a 2X or 3X type of, type of approach. So if you're applying to maybe 20 positions in a week, you need to triple that. You've got 60 positions in a week. All right, it sounds like a lot, but really if you have uh, the, the time to go through and click on some of these links, most of the application pages now are four, maybe five questions, and then you submit your resume. So it's really pretty quick. When I say 60, it sounds like a very large number, a very daunting number, but it really isn't. Lastly, gosh, I can't emphasize this enough, network to everyone you know, whether that's your kids, parent, or your kids, uh, peers, parents at school, uh, your Facebook friends, your neighbors, your dry cleaners, anybody that really that you come in contact with in San Diego should be part of your network. Don't be afraid to say hi. Don't be afraid to kind of check your ego and check your pride and say, listen, I've been caught up in a reduction in force, as many people in San Diego have, right? Don't be afraid to share that with someone and tell them what you're looking for as an opportunity. Be surprised at how willing people are to assist and grow and help you take your career to the next level. Unfortunately, this is numbers game. Um, the more times that you throw opportunities to the wind, the more you're gonna receive back. Unfortunately, we haven't fixed that system where we can really be so exact that a, 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 a 
human being or a bot can really go through your resume effectively enough to make sure that you are the right person for the job. Especially if you're submitting a generic resume, there's no way that a bot can do the work that a human set of eyes can do to make sure that you have the soft skills to apply for that position and certainly land that position. So unfortunately, in that regard, the system is broken. I am old school. I like to pick up the phone and talk to people that are relatively close to what we're looking for. Um, there's an adage that most women apply to positions when they have eight of the 10 qualifications met or more. Men, on the other hand, typically will apply to positions when there's 60, maybe 55, 60% of the requisites met. And unfortunately, due to LinkedIn studies, I, I, will, I will quote this stat that LinkedIn says that 18% of women are chosen more often than not, when both a man and a woman of equal skill set apply to the same position. So I would encourage everyone to apply to every position regardless. Uh, does it feed the beast? Sure it does. But again, this is a numbers game. and You have to have the numbers justify the momentum that will justify the interview, that will justify the offer. I want to make sure that everyone knows that this is not a time to be discouraged. This is a time to buckle down and work a little bit harder. It will happen. Uh, obviously, this is a difficult time for everybody from coast to coast, across the nation, across the world. That If you're looking for a job, know that it's tougher out there, but you can do this. It can be done. It just it takes a lot of effort. And some people liken the job search to a full-time position, and sometimes it is. People are so concerned with how they appear to other people. Uh, they check their pride, they check their ego, and they want to kind of um, internalize some of the pain that they're going through. When the world wants to help, the world in, by nature is a very helping entity. So if this person has the opportunity to, to open their mouth, talk about some of the challenges they've had about finding a job and, and sharing with their friends what they're looking for, the world is their oyster be surprised at what will open but you're right most people have found jobs most some people have found jobs through networking networking is still a great vehicle there are uh, zoom calls there are there used to be before COVID-19 meetup groups where it plays that you what places that you, you could go to certainly network also there are things that you can do on a learning uh, webinar um, there's all kinds of different ways that you can talk about interviewing or or certainly getting your job uh, skills ready for a search and in that there may be some other individuals so meeting those other classmates talking to those other classmates about some of the things that you're experiencing yes you'll get to kind of mind melt but there may be some ideas that they have for you that you haven't considered so networking really is a critical component to finding a new opportunity facial expression um, body language it's it's there's a lot of, of psychology behind it, but really it's it's being honest, being genuine, putting a smile on your face and, and asking people what some of the challenges they're having and talking personally about some of the challenges you're facing. Again, being back to being genuine yourself. Don't be afraid to tell people that you're hurting and then what, and really what you're looking for next. Let's use Indeed as a, as a, a platform that most people use. All right, if you go into the search bar and you type in the word now, or better yet, Hiring now, either one will net you out some results. Those results are organizations right here. And if you type in obviously the word San Diego or do a geographical search around San Diego, those are gonna be organizations that are looking for talent right this minute. But maybe outside your chosen field, it may be something where you can um, take a couple positions that are part-time in, in place of your full-time opportunity. There are jobs to be had out there. Again, it may be a situation where you have to check your, I check your ego, there are organizations hiring. Uh, for example, I did this search a couple of days ago, and there are people that are looking, grocery stores are looking for people that can stock the shelves. There are people that are looking for drivers that can deliver food to people's stores because they are sequestered. So there are an opera, there's a, I would say the last time I looked at this was probably two or 300 opportunities. So don't be shy about applying to those positions in the interim until either your organization picks back up and pulls you back off of furlough or another organization hires you. 
If you type in the word now into the search bar, if you go into the Indeed platform or LinkedIn or whatever platform you like to use, Craigslist, whatever it may be, you type in the word now, N-O-W, you can use it lowercase, uppercase, and search for jobs using that term. Up will pop, again, employers that are looking to hire right this minute. You can use either now or hiring now, something up using the word now. Uh, employers are desperate to find talent. Uh, they obviously are, are looking to make sure that they continue to have that revenue stream.